Oh boy, that gets countered. <laughs> Objection time, Ox! You're done! Oh, that was their plan though. Oh man. Oh wait, 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 wait. You can counter a Zymox now. Yes, thanks to the new made secret objection. Before we had counter spell and now we have counter minion. Thanks to objection. And I have to say it felt pretty good in this more aggressively tuned secret mage deck in combination with contract conjurer. This new 6-6, six, six, you can play for zero mana sometimes, which is great when you're trying to hit your opponent really hard with six damage here or maybe some six damage fireballs, uh, along with a lot of early game aggressive minions just to get you rolling, play for tempo, pressure, and overwhelming them with lots and lots of stuff. On top of that, you have Orion Mansion Manager still in here to create some absolutely chaotic turns, which can also win you games. Now, I have to say we did really well with this deck on day one of the mini set. I went five and one overall with this one, but big butt, we don't have any data yet. <laughs> I just said big butt. <laughs> I'm leaving it in. I'm leaving it in. We don't have any data yet, okay? So I would not recommend crafting this. It might have been a fluke. You know, it's very small sample size, et cetera, et cetera. So stay tuned whether or not this deck actually becomes meta relevant. But if you happen to have these cards laying around, you want to have some fun on the back of Secret Mage, you want to object to your opponent's Zymox, well, this deck can absolutely deliver that. I don't think we can keep both pop-off boys, though. I'm going to keep the Conjurer because it's new and try to hit, you know, an informant for it, basically. Don't love dual secrets. That's not good. That's going to make it tough. Hard to get both of these up at once when they're the same. And the multicaster returns. Gross. Terrible opener hand, really. Pretty dang bad. Um. Oh, boy. Okay. A lot of people on uh, YouTube were alarmed when I said a three mana six six is a little slow, but perhaps this <laughs> this illuminates why. I mean, they have a two mana five four. You know, it's just I'm gonna be dead by the time I play this because it's not really a three mana three six that you play on turn three usually, right? It's a three mana three six that you're playing on turn five or six typically. You're trying to get it out at the same time. I don't think they trade much, right? Which I have to ask, is that good or bad? Because I can get a contract down. I don't know. Let's do this because it might mean this survives the turn and then I can counterspell Conjurer next turn. I don't think they're trading into this 2-3 usually. They care a lot about going face. They didn't They didn't trade already once, so... Why would they do it again suddenly? Maybe a rush minion or something, but... I might actually... Do we think Objection is better than Conjurer? There's like Crixus maybe. Like there's some, oh, that guy is a pain for Conjurer though. Jeez. Uh, crap. Could maybe go for a Noble Sack here or a Freezing Trap instead of the Objection or Counter Spell. Where you followed. Ugh. I think my 6-6 six, six is dead. I mean, they're going to play spells, we know. So maybe Sticky's better than Reckoning here. It's like, am I trying to counter pressure them or just I wonder. stabilize, right? I really ultimately want to counter pressure them. So Sticky is better that Reckoning stabilizes because it removes the 5-4. Snakes will also activate a little too. This is on curve, which I, not really meaningful, but maybe technically a little better. Good news is I get a 3-6. I might get a 3-4 as well. I don't know. It's really not not awesome. It's weird. This deck is like, you know, this Bibliomite sitting face a lot, but they, they are a Renathal deck and they have Scorpid. You know, it's not like they're hyper, hyper aggro here. They are running Renathal stuff. You know, Scorpion is not a natural follow-up to the Bibliomite. It's not a high-pressure, high-attack value unit. So I'm thinking they might actually run out of, of pressure here a little bit. So this, for me, going for counter-pressure could benefit me more than stabilizing is my logic. I don't know how true that is, but... Yeah, control aggro, sure. There you go. Another Bibliomite, though. That's so interesting. I can't really decide what they're trying to be. You know? 
Very strange. Well, I gotta hit these now. I mean, I think I just take negative trades because I need to freeze face, maybe? Well, I don't know. Do I really need to freeze face yet? We played the counter spell, so any kind of like facey damage card might be denied anyway. Also, there's just so many cheap spells. I think I gotta freeze face. <sighs> really sucks. I don't know. In hindsight, the reckoning would have ended up being better because I just traded the three four into a dude anyway, right? It would have killed the other dude. It was a different dude technically, but I think it would have been better. I wasn't expecting another bibliomite after seeing the the scorpid line. I thought they were gonna pivot into more mid game, but dude, the bibliomite greed in a relic deck, dude. Oh, they put me to thirteen basically for free. It's so gross. This is what happens when you enable them with such ridiculous card draw that even a, a controllier build like Relics can still technically afford to, to play Bibliomites and in fact might even be encouraged because of that new draw five card. That's so crazy to me. They were just like, oh, hey, actually, um, I, I'm just going to play all of this crazy hyper aggressive stuff and have my greed because I can just instantly reload my hand with five cards at any time. Curtis. Okay, that was the one thing that dodged <laughs> both of these secrets, dude. Are you kidding me? That is so frustrating. I can't do that. <sighs> Now they don't know that this Orion is is helpless. But I really, really wish I could play an Oasis ally or an explosive runes alongside it. Just to make them think more. So they might in other words, they might play a spell or something first to deal with this. I don't know. Am I just dead on board though? I'm just dead, aren't I? I'm just dead to hero powers if they go face. It's six and oh they didn't hear of our first though does that keep me alive maybe oh i wasn't dead anyway oh it was one off oh okay you only had six and six i was at 13 i guess okay huh that's their turn eh all right cool 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 Cool, cool. If I can hit here, Vartender ping technically clears. I guess I tempo a spell coiler because I have literally nothing else to do. Would love to play this for a like a, an ice barrier, you know, if I could. Maybe I have to save it actually. I don't think I just hero power this guy. Maybe I have to save it, right? I don't know. So now they just hero power Orion, but that means I'm alive, maybe, sometimes. I mean, surely they have more damage spells or, or ways to just burn through a spell and then deal some damage, right? A, play something and then predation face or whatever. That's what we were saying, yeah. Oh, 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 that order, though. That means they can't hero power this anymore. Are they just going to kill me then? Oh, interesting. Okay, what did I get by the way? Vengeful Visage. That's not going to be helpful, unfortunately. Objection though? Okay, okay, okay. Anybody? He's getting big! Oasis allied? Probably not relevant, but interesting. I can objection again. Ooh, taunts! I think I like barrier better than taunts, sort of. No barrier, though, so that's irrelevant. Okay. Snap freeze could lock down a minion for a turn. Buying time might matter a lot on these big relic dudes. Okay, okay, hold up, hold up. We're in it, we're in it, we're in this. We're in this. What's crazy is they actually would have won if they had hero powered first that turn with the dudes and put me to one. Then they could have just hero powered again and killed me, but because they didn't. I actually have a little bit of an opening here. Oh boy, that gets countered. <laughs> Objection time, Ox! You're done! Oh, that was their plan though. Oh man. Oh wait, 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 explosive runes! Yes! Oh my God! We're at counter 
your spells up now. <laughs> yes, the dream. The dream. The actual dream. Oh my god. Yes, the dream. <laughs> I swear to God, though, every game I win today is only because something went wrong for the opponent. Again, I, I think they actually could have won if they had just hero powered. When Orion gets going, man, people just can't, like, they just can't deal with the snowball of craziness. You asked for it. That was quite an objection, I have to say. All right, Sketchy Stranger's pretty good. We like Slither Spear. We're going to look for more of the tempo stuff if we can. I, I really, really think, like, Informant and, uh, the six drop guy who's not showing are, are probably our key openers if we can do those. Wow, fun. Objection, Trog. Okay, at least we have minions, right? That's fine. Normally Trog, Oh, I would love to play that next turn. Give me a secret in hand. I may, I may go stranger first to discount a secret, right? That would be much better for later. Dispose. Whoa, that looked weird. Um, if I draw a good spell, I might decipher mana anyway. But I don't, no, I don't know. The Trog's not, it's not scary. Who cares? Let's just, let's just get that secret in hand. We didn't draw a secret, sadly, or a spell. I think perjury is really good for us on average because it, it lets me guarantee a secret is up into like Scuttlebutts and Orions and such. It can like front load this to set up for a future turn, basically. Okay, spell please? No spells ever, man. Ever, ever. Can't coin and discount the secret or I give them an extra trog. Well, I mean, do I care if they get an extra trog? If I discount a secret, I'm gonna have a two mana and one mana secret next turn. So I'll be able to perjury and... Well, on that note, I guess I don't really need... If it's two and one anyway, that's three, I float a mana, so... I guess I can just uh, put this to one and have a three mana secret next turn. That's still a contract conjurer, right? So I can still coin a, a, an archaeologist here basically and not not throw off my curve. I still get to do the play I want to make. So I think that's worth it for sure. So perjury, counterspell, conjurer next turn. That's pretty cool. The perjury won't do anything, of course, but that's totally fine. Actually, make sure that I have a chatty bartender play the turn after, which is kind of nice. Scuttlebutt Ghoul seems like it could be pretty relevant this game. These are pretty spooky though. Conjurer can kind of contest that, I guess, but Counterspell doesn't seem like it's gonna be great to me. Oh, you gotta hit this. You gotta protect your 2-1. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess I would prefer an Oasis ally here, maybe? Fireball will definitely save for later. Kind of assume they might trade into this. I don't know. They, I think they want to be on the forefront of this game. They want to be the aggressor, but I'm not sure yet that they are. They can be. I mean, there's no question if they want to turn the corner and go. Kind of hope to hit a big counter spell, but it's unlikely. Oh, that's not bad. They were hoping to trade the 2-1 there, maybe. Any rogue secrets here that really make them think? They may not want to spend their full mana, so they don't give me cards, for instance, that sort of thing. Doubt they're worried su super highly about kidnap, but might be testing it at least. Okay. Are they going to trade? Hero power at least? Yeah, okay, that's fine. Force of Rest Bartender doesn't contest the peasant here. May not be the best play, but I do like cleaning up their minions as much as I can. Freezing Trap or Judgment? I guess Freezing Trap's better in that case. Actually deals with the problem. <sighs> yeah, man, I sure wish I had mana to ping here. Am I a little bit better off going Scuttlebutt Ghoul? I don't think so, because this gets Freezing Trapped instead of this. I don't think so, but man. They are, they are at 19 or 17. And we have a fireball, right? So, okay, that's interesting. Like, they're getting low. Need a secret for the future bartenders, though, and for the Scuttlebutt Ghoul. Scuttlebutt Ghoul. Which four new cards to add? Uh, just uh, Objection and the Six Drop guy, whose name I can never remember, apparently. That's all. So the new secret and the new Six Six guy. Seems like they're gonna have to hit this, right? They're pretty far behind. I mean, you can replay that guy. It's not bad. Oh, never mind. Oh, I like cards too, though. Okay, yeah, they give me two here. That's not bad at all. They take four again. Yeah, man, I have just double fireball here. I really doubt this deck has healing, right? So I think we just ship it face. Doesn't seem like the kind of deck that's running healing. I don't have mana to double fireball next turn, so I have to do one of them now. Dude, if I'm dead, I'm gonna be very angry. <laughs> I don't think I'm dead, but I'm gonna be very angry if I'm dead. I can tell you that right now. I'm gonna be outraged. It was at like 26. 
doesn't appear to be death incoming. So sick. Yeah, the drawing two there actually ended up hurting them a lot. We're seeing we're seeing the downside of the draw two here. Fireball has been around since day one and it's still pretty dang good, I gotta be honest. Okay, that was cool, man. We kind of put them on the back foot. We 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 forced them to be the defender from our high tempo scuttlebutts and stuff. Or not scuttlebutt. What is that guy called? Uh all right. I think Salute Spirit early is definitely gonna help against Aggro Demon Hunter. We know they can get out to some pretty fast starts. Having that body down is nice. Objection's probably not great against aggro DH. I definitely would prefer a curve play here. Sketchy, Arcanologist, or a f Informant, <coughs> oh, I think would be our, our go-to line if we could. Ooh, okay, now here's a really here's a really interesting question. And I, I think I know the answer. I think I hold in case I hit a six drop guy. If I hit a six drop guy, I can play it next turn. It, it's, you know, it's it's debatable. We may not hit a six drop guy, not that likely. Two out of 25, but if I do, it's gonna be insane. If I don't, I don't think the secret's gonna be great against most minions this early anyway. So, you know, why, why overcommit maybe? Now here, this is a little more sad, I think. I probably do commit now to set up the multicaster next turn and maybe just to clear this. Although, I don't know, we do want that Oasis ally as well. No, let's go face, we have fireballs. So this gets me the two cards for multicaster next turn. Sadly does not activate the six drop guy, but still good. Relic Vault. Hey, it's Tuleme. Hello, thank you for the sub. All right, it's not too bad. I would say pretty inefficient in the scheme of things. Runes, I think, unlikely to be super good against Demon Hunter, unfortunately. Or Relic Demon Hunter, anyway. Aggro Demon Hunter, maybe. It's gonna be really stressful if there are two good Demon Hunter decks, as it seems there might be, with both Relic and Aggro Demon Hunter looking viable. And then knowing that... Uh, split these, split these. Nice. Uh, then knowing that uh, you, you can't mulligan, because one's hyper aggro and one is defensive. You'll never be able to mulligan successfully. Am I gonna need the bailout here? Siphon is like, that's 10 damage. They're effectively at 18. I mean, Siphon might get there, but I kinda think I need the bailout for later. I don't think I'm gonna win this game in the next few turns, ultimately. It's not impossible. Explosive Runes goes off before objections, I guess, right? No, this is after, this is win. So the first minion played will get objected and then the next one will get Explosive Runed, I think. Man, they took another, took another three there, jeez. I think we rip this to draw another card, right? We haven't played an arcane spell yet, if I'm not mistaken. Magic. Yeah. Objection is non-typed. Okay. Wow, damage is actually coming together. I might regret that siphon, because now we have another another eight in hand. Uh, yeah, there's the objection, okay. So the explosive runes does not proc, I'm assuming. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Deny them a little bit of discover value, maybe. Kind of wish I was getting the damage, though. It would, would be darn near close to lethal with with the damage coming through if it had been damage. All right, so that's obviously really gross. Uh, need to try to figure out a way to win here straight up. It's eight damage, they're 13, so a, a ping seems very valuable, basically. An eye for an eye, actually, could also be insane. Yeah, if this were a Siphon Soul, though, they'd be dead. Or, well, not quite yet, I guess. We don't have mana. Explosive Trap could actually be really nice. Okay, nice, interesting. How much healing does this deck have? Oh, I should have thrown this in. Eh, I'm gonna do it anyway, whatever. Speed bump. Obviously could have played that before the cards, but it's irrelevant, I think. Softening up a minion is the only advantage there. Does this deck have healing? Denathrius, uh, usually about it, right? Don't Theotar my fireball, I guess, is one, one thought. Any minion does additional damage again as well. Reno? I haven't seen Reno in these decks yet. They're hitting face a lot. Oh, just a wipe for the Chaos Nova. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, cool, easy. Nice. I don't know how important the secrets were, but hey, they worked. Did I play any new cards? Well, I played Objection, okay, yeah. Ooh, this is actually a really nice opener. Okay, this is really cool. Really, really good opener, I think. So, Informant on two, we hold the ally. 
unless perhaps they don't have any minions in play but even then there's no really advantage to playing it i don't think hold the ally and then can play the conjurer on three if we get another secret if we get super super lucky we can play two secrets and a conjurer on turn three but we need to top deck a secret here top deck the counter spell especially since they've coined top deck counter spell top deck counter spell cyber mana is not a counter spell uh, is it worth using no of course not we still play the three minute six six that's fine your signature we says how I think pretty likely to proc here. I think we just bartender. Well, I don't know. We don't bartender if allies if allies gone, but I don't know. Maybe we do. Maybe four four is just good enough. Maybe they go face of this because I don't really have a good target. Oh, interesting. They just give me the three six. Wild. There's like nothing there that really ever goes their way. I don't think either. Is what's crazy about that. Okay. Yeah, we hit for eleven for sure. Runes is more damage. I don't think the bartender is worth it from a tempo standpoint. This deck's just really good at shutting down minions. So I think, I don't know. I think just getting a runes in is gonna set us up better long-term. Freezing the six, four, freezing the three, six. We've gotten them down to 14. I can siphon mana the two, two. Doesn't really again feel very good though. It's like part of me wants to just hold 10 here, you know? Just ping face a couple times and we're like getting there. I really wish I could, let's see, if I ping and, and, and siphon now, they go to 11. I have fireball siphon next turns only eight. I think that's the move, man. All right, I'm gonna play one more dude round here. This really unfortunate curve wise, we kind of hit our, our reach and not our, you know, a multi-caster or a scuttlebutt ghoul or a, you know, an archeologist would have been really nice on five mana. There's a few, I think, good lines there. We didn't hit, unfortunately. Um, That's really not that helpful here. I mean, they might snipe the 4-4 if they're super lucky. Super lucky. Don't don't snipe the 4-2. Don't do it. Oh my God, they're so lucky. <sighs> I mean, I, I think ping here is right. It actually forces them to have, I mean, yeah can't ping fireball and siphon next turn so they, they obviously can have cold case and 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 heal here uh seven lethal no they go back to 10 no i mean i i need to set up the two turn lethal right it's a real insane shame they sniped that four two or we just have like the guaranteed setup here if we got to hit for another four obviously they'd just be dead but we'll put them to eight just in case they don't have any healing and set up the win yeah nice okay it's a risk, it's a risk, but that's how you kind of have to play with these decks sometimes, is just take that risk and hope to get there. Which we do. Nice. Yeah, that 6-6 six, six on 3 did some work that game, I'll be honest. That was really good. Really, really good. Yeah, Informant Archaeologist is really nice. Informant Objection... I'm okay with it, we'll just keep it. We just need these tempo plays. I mean, always even better, probably. Depends on the type of Warlock this is, though. I don't really know what to expect. But I can turn this deck aggro? Yeah, more or less, yeah. I think that's a fair descriptor. So informant on two and then mansion manager objection on three. I I kind of wish that was a counter spell against warlock. Oh, maybe I don't though. Okay, hold up. Uh man, now I'm wondering like they're gonna play uh stupid imps here. I don't really contest imps that well with objection or oasis ally i think the oasis ally is a little bit better into orion though is my thought if they go for the the four imps here and buff one they're gonna want to naturally trade that buffed oh they went for the two four okay interesting okay okay interesting uh well yeah i still think it's this then i think they're just gonna want to trade with a buff and then you know at the very least he gets buffed they might still kill it if the buff's big enough obviously but then i get an oasis ally and, and a new secret i don't need the orion necessarily to scale forever i just want some value off the orion is the logic here oh sick that's even better wow yeah, they have the buff here in trade right that's their goal i don't know we'll see so now an objection is really nice i can go objection archaeologist and informant and really swarm some tempo here Do they take this trade? Oh, they can take the trade in the right. But this is what I was talking about, right? He actually is going to survive. And we're going to get a 3-6 and a new secret. This is perfect. Actually perfect. Okay, cool. 
Uh, what do we get? Explosive runes. Okay, interesting. Um, well, certainly, I think Oasis Ally again to protect the dude is pretty legit. It'll be our little secret. Protect the dude. Is a ping legit? I'm wondering if I need to ping here. Like, hit this. This guy dies is the problem. Um, it's just going to be hard to keep... Well, no, I don't know. The, the buffs aren't active, right? So these are all less than three damage. If, he, if they attack again, he's going to go to three. So I hit here. Nothing is dealing three. I guess I could hit here and ping, but then there's more one ones. Is that a problem? Not really, because I keep a three six alive. The number of one ones is only a challenge right now for for impending, not for the buffs on board. But do I really care that much about the three six is the other side of this question. I mean, maybe I do. Yeah. Am I really that stressed about one ones? The important thing is Orion is doing his thing. Maybe this is wrong. I don't know. They can't kill it eventually. It's just they, they put a lot of work into it. And maybe maybe secrets disrupt. Also, explosive runes, if it goes off first, could be a very big deal. That is not explosive runes. Okay. They have the catastrophe anyway. All right. So they may have to sack their full board here into Orion. They want to clear it. I don't know. I guess it depends on what spell they get here, maybe. Is there any other... I don't think there's any other secret they can come in and disrupt here, right? Because they didn't play for a runes. Maybe if they play a one drop here... Yeah, they just have to trade it. What do we get again, by the way? Counterspell now. Okay, it's not bad. The objection and explosive runes now. Explosive runes probably not great. Oh, it's a good target. Three health actually is not bad. I don't. I just don't really feel like we got that far ahead off that. Honestly, I'm feeling a little underwhelmed by that whole line. In hindsight, it's just I don't know. We didn't really do that much. Like it was good. It helped me keep up. I'm not complaining too too much, but just don't feel like we really got ahead much. I wish we'd gotten ahead a little more. I think we kind of equalized instead of got ahead, and I want to get ahead. I gotta kill imps now because of course they're they're getting ready to get their thing up i gotta try to respect this if i can they can still have one attacker though maybe it's better to ping instead of play the secret in that case i don't know i need cards so i'm hesitant either way is this oh tams it whoa okay that's really good unfortunately jeez <sighs> see they're at 35 and i'm just kind of starting over objection reform you can feel it <laughs> yeah that would be nice I do think there's a chance to go for Rafam now, but I would really love to get this body down. <sighs> this curve is just clunky as is. I know game audio. Oh, I think there's game audio, right? It looks like there is. If I froze the 2-4 imp, I think Orion lives again. Wouldn't it have made a third 1-1 one -one, though? I think there was two 1-1s one -ones and a th I think there was board space to make a third 1-1. One -one. If there wasn't board space, that might be right. But I thought there was. All right, I'm gonna try to snipe the Rafam, guys. I think we need a big play here to win. I don't know what it is. I mean, oh, that's another one drop gone. They may not have a good one drop here. They don't have a flame imp to test. Uh, okay, that's not Rafam, unfortunately. So we're only gonna get like that four drop three threes. That's good too, though, honestly. If we can snipe, that's not a bad objection either. The three threes, yeah, nice. That's not bad, that's good. Very cool, okay. Not Rafam, but next best thing in their deck probably. So now I guess we try again and we put the bartender in this time to deal with the one ones. Rafam? 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 Problem is they're still at 31. I have not really made enough progress on face. Arson accusation into flame imp. That's gonna be a good counter. Jeez. Doesn't kill my guy, but maybe they can't take damage now? Oh, that would be cool. It will still die when I hit them though. So yeah, <laughs> it's not, you know, it's still gonna die. It's not like it's a miracle cure here or anything. Uh, drag below, jeez, yeah, okay. They are really holding on to these libraries. There they go. There they go. How much damage can I really piece together is what I'm trying to figure out. Like 31 just seems like an impossible hill to climb. How do I ever beat curses as well? Or yeah, I mean like abyssal waves and stuff are just gonna come in and melt my board as well. This dies as soon as I hit them in the face. So it's probably technically better to trade it in. So I get some value out of it and just ping. Play a counter spell on a conjurer. It's not a good turn, but it's what we got. Your 
31 i just i just don't think we're getting to 31 we're out of steam they've stabilized too hard if they were like 15 i'd have some faith fireballs could get us over the hump if this 6-6 can connect once maybe maybe okay might mean the library doesn't go through and i get to hit for six uh i've got eight in hand i'm taking a lot of curse damage though i kind of have to dump all these curses Multicaster is pretty legit. That's not a shadow spell, unfortunately. If I played an arcane, yeah, I played counter spell, explosive runes. Yeah, okay, we played enough to at least see what's in the see what's in the tank here. All right, let's do one of the big ones here. I want to get a counter spell in to protect against abyssal wave, maybe. Problem is we're still taking 11 damage this turn, so there's a lot of ways they can kill me. Just thinking about abyssal wave specifically being a way to react to my board better. Uh, Zakul is gross too. That's a ton of healing. Shoot. And almost lethal. Well, I'm definitely not doing 31 here, so how do I live? I'm also not gonna beat the next curse card usually. I need something to like freeze the board almost here. Pyroblast. Oh my god. They've actually played all the minions that matter, right? Cultists and Zakuls, so objection doesn't really do anything anyway. That's sad. I think we're just dead, right? Yeah, literally dead on board. Alrighty. Close. Not really, though. <laughs> not, not actually not close at all. They kind of controlled the whole game, I think. Kind of, kind of close. Kind of, sort of, miles in the distance, close. Almost, sort of, kind of see a path of victory, but <laughs> not really. Alrighty. How is the deck performing so far? Uh, so far we're three and one, so I'd say pretty good so far. Feels pretty good. It's a little all in. It's not really my favorite play style. It's a little harrowing sometimes to just go. Oh no, we're four and one so far. Scratch that. Little harrowing to go all in and just kind of hope for the best, but it's working. It's doing a thing. The Legion's rage pales before my pretty uh, all I ever wanted pretty clean. I mean, we know how insane this can be, but do we do we greed for the without the informant? It's really bad. So <laughs> I don't know. Scuttlebutt Ghoul could be really nice in Oasis. Like Oasis Ally Ghoul is a pretty nice little pair, particularly against Demon Hunter. It's just bad against Bibliomite. Bibliomite really really shuts this down because the five fours are just so efficient at killing that. Would still love that, uh, dude. Thought maybe like ping this and then siphon mana. This is like two mana. It kind of helps you get a conjurer down slightly faster, but ultimately I think you lose the coin to just barely do that. So I don't think it's much advantage. I think playing it straight is a little better. We're not really, really going for a big, fast, aggressive start here, though. So I'm nervous. We're, we're definitely playing from behind a bit. Just don't have bibliomites. I mean, I like Oasis Ally in a ghoul, right? If they actually clear the minion this turn, I can't Oasis Ally in a contract conjurer as well. I can guarantee it. <sighs> Wait, they're just gonna tempo the, the Stheno? Oh, that's weird and surprising, but awesome. Thank you. I love that. That's really helpful. Okay, well that makes my life a lot better. Okay. Not a bibliomite, thankfully. That's cool. So next turn we can just go secret, secret conjurer. Just full mana now. I guess we could go ghoul, but oh no, 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 we can't. No, no, no. That just that's not how math works. <laughs> no, no, scratch that. We cannot. Really surprised they just tempo that against a mage. Oh, I see. They wanted to dump the hand. Okay, that makes more sense. That adds up a little better now. I see it. I see it. Um. Okay. So I think we want to counter. Ooh, more bodies. Yes, we love it. Okay. Just get a free 2 3 here, basically. I think I might just throw away a coin this turn to take a better trade into the magistrate. That 1 3 is not been going face. I, I don't I don't think I play for the 1 3. In other words, I don't. Oasis ally, I go for the. For the counter spell instead. Like, do I coin just to kill that 5 4? Coin is actually pretty legit next turn so maybe i just trade both these in maybe i leave the five four can i take five or like if it wants to trade into the six six am i really stressed about it they already used lady stino i'm wondering if i can take five I'm gonna put some taunts in play 
I'm going to risk it. I think we want to create some counter pressure here. I'm going to leave the five. And they don't know what it is either, so they might be very hesitant to, to make plays with it. And they might want to make sure they don't fall too far behind here. We'll see. We may regret it. Going to learn a little bit, by the way. This girl just looks cool. I love the art on this card. It's really nice. Really awesome. They might think it's Visage. Yeah, good point. Yeah, definitely could be a Visage. Okay, that's a reasonably good counter spell, I would say. Fell Barrage there does not deal with the 6-6. Six, six. They do decide to go face and ignore the 6-6, six, six. okay. So now we can go Ghoul Ally. I have to decide if I'm gonna throw away the Ghoul, or excuse me, throw, yeah, like throw away a Ghoul or kill that 5-4. That like, do I trust the Taunts and a race, basically? If I'm hitting for eight, they're at 20. If I hit it again for eight, they're at 12. Am I gonna be setting up a victory, basically? In combination with the Oasis Ally in particular. I think I like the Oasis ally enough and the Explosive Runes enough that I'm willing to trust this taunt for a turn at least. Oasis ally can freeze face, which can shut down a ton of damage, which might reduce their, their reach a little bit. So the damage threat becomes less so with the Oasis ally, I'm hoping. And I can use this 2-3 to tidy up if needed, hopefully as well. I don't know. We're getting a real uh, experience here in counter pressure and trusting your counter pressure, I hope. That's the idea anyway. So if they use, oh, that's a really good explosive runes. Okay, if they use damage now to go face, wait, are they just gonna be dead? Hold up, they're not killing it. Eight, 11, 14, yeah, they're just dead on board by hitting. Yeah, okay. So like I said, we're getting, <laughs> we're getting a real lesson here in trusting your deck's counter pressure basically, right? So, cool, that was a good good little showcase of what that can do. Sometimes you have to engage the race. Swing hard enough on the 6-6 six, six, and you can start to engage the race.